2010. In this tutorial we're going to talk about how to use audio effectively in your PowerPoint. There are a couple of different ways to include audio and the first one is uh, through the transitions ribbon. So I'm going to select the transition ribbon and this is probably what most people think of when they think of audio in their PowerPoint is they want it to to make a little sound as each slide advances. So I first just select a uh, transition that I like. Picked one right there. And then I can choose a, this uh, sound option right here. And I have various different ones available by default. But if I come to the bottom, I will be able to click other sound and then navigate to where I've got this on my computer. By default, it's opening up the last place I was pulling media from, and you'll see that there's a Swing 01 wave sound there. If I click on this audio files uh, drop-down arrow to show all files, you might notice that there's another audio file in there that's an MP3. PowerPoint is most compatible with WAV files for this kind of uh, work, and so they pretty much need to be WAV files in order for you to use it as a transition sound. So I'm going to select that Swing and click OK. You heard it preview the sound for us. It's a little swing that I found online. And so when I advance to this slide in the slideshow, or I begin the slideshow from this slide, you'll hear that audio and my transition will happen. I'm going to escape out of PowerPoint, uh, the, the full screen view, so we can take a look at the other way to include audio in your PowerPoint. The second way you can do this is if you go to the Insert ribbon, clear on the right hand side, there's a little audio um, icon. I'm going to click that. And by default, it's going to go to the same place I was most recently getting media from. And it will uh, show me the different ones that are available. And I'll notice I could put the swing file in that way and so that I can have a little bit more control over how I use it. But there's also this one here that's an MP3 file. And I'm going to choose that one and insert it. And when I do that, it's going to create an icon for me and a little uh, media toolbar, uh, media management toolbar. I prefer to put these audio icons up in a corner, kind of out of the way. And so let's take a look at that full screen. There's my transition sound. My transition effect happens. It's bringing up the other items, and then when I mouse over this, I get uh, uh, this toolbar that lets me hit play. Mouse over it again, and I can hit, after I mouse over it again, I can bring that up again and hit pause. I also have options to adjust the volume and a few other things. Now you notice because of where I have it, it's kind of a little bit hard to use, but the reason I like that is another way you can use that that is to actually take this icon and just set it right off of the, the actual slide screen and I'm going to make a change on this as well here in the audio tools there are two two different ones the format lets you change the way that this icon looks and appears that can be useful and helpful for some things but I'm also going to show you the playback one which I like quite a bit now in the tutorial on videos we saw most of the same kinds of things there's a play button, a bookmark button, a trim audio, and if I select that, I get a very simple audio trimmer that I can select just a portion of that audio if I want. You know, that might work for a longer podcast I wanted to include only 10 minutes of. I'm going to close that. But another thing you can do here is you can actually change this from being to start on click to start automatically so that now when I start my slideshow you hear the transition effect you see the transition and the audio the audio starts and will play automatically and it'll play through until it finishes or ends or I tell it to do something else uh, that something else is available in the animation ribbon uh, the animation ribbon is kind of a not the place you'd first look for this, but if you open the animation pane, one of the things you'll see is that whenever we insert media in PowerPoint, especially that you know media like audio or video, it creates an animation effect. So if I choose this drop down arrow, I can choose the effect options, and here is a place I can actually tell this to play after multiple slides. Um, I can also look at the timing 
and change how the timing works. I can tell it to repeat some number of times. If I want it to repeat a certain number of times a sound, and I can use the audio settings to enhance it and choose some other items. Now it's funny that you, this happens because it, uh, another feature of this is in order to do the whole effect of what I want to do, if I'm going to, sorry, I need to set that, go to my effect options, I want this to continue and, pl and to stop after two slides. So it'll play through two slides. But one of the other parts of this is I'm going to select my audio to bring up my playback and there's a loop until stopped. So it'll just keep running that audio until I get through those two videos. So this is only a 15 second audio. Let's take a look at how that works. I'm going to hit the slideshow button. And I click to advance. And I click to advance again and it'll stop the slide or the it will stop the audio. Now that may not be the the most direct route to get there, but that's how you get audio to play over multiple slides. The reason I looped it is this is a short sound. But if you had like a a, a, a song or a podcast that you wanted to play over a couple of slides, you, you wouldn't need to worry about that looping feature we did there at the end. But that's kind of the effects and the options for um, modifying audio on your PowerPoint. Hope you find that helpful and useful, and look forward to having you in other tutorials.